Hi, Sagittarius. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. This is the reading for November. Happy birthday to the early Sagittarians. All right. So the energy that I was told, the question really, I was told to deliver is what is it you desire? And, you know, it's good to be really get clear. This is what I want. This is what I want to bring in. What I want to experience. This is what I want to feel. This is what I want to see, be. So that's the question. So you go within. And then I'm going to read cards as to how it is you can manifest your desire. Well, it'd be so much fun to do voiceovers, I think. I, you know, I think it's more complicated than people think, but it would kind of be fun, I think. I like the sound of shuffling. One more. The heartache that you feel you experienced actually got you in touch with your dreams. So actually, you know, sometimes things like make us feel bad or weird or uncomfortable or unloved. And it's like, yeah, but there's always information there. There's always information. There's always uh, a gift in it. There's always a gift mixed into it. And I think that's really the message. Because then I get the like the choice, right? The choice and the opportunity. There was somebody I wanted to start sort of a uh, a thing with, let's just say it. <laughs> and um, they just completely disappeared, completely, like as if they were never there. Like really, like ghost, real ghost. And I was so hurt and I was so upset and I was so, it was like, you know, I was protected. And like, just leave it at that. Oh, I have to figure it out. I don't have to figure anything out. The answer is no. Okay. Hmm. Okay. You know, high hopes and da 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 da. Okay, begin anew. Mm -hmm. Because your spirit and your soul knows the path that you need to be on. That's more intuitive. That's more, I don't even know how to say it. Like being, you're being led by the other side. Toward foundation, toward something that's going to last, toward something that's much more solid and much more uh, long lasting. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, I just got this. It's like the, the opportunity that you thought you missed or whatever would not have, um, would have really left you out in the cold. And there's something bigger that is being worked on by spirit for you. Like whether you realize it or not, it's, it's, it's kind of bigger than you. And it's full of abundance and creativity and fertility. And it also honors you. It honors you. I feel, you know what it feels like? I'm getting a whole feeling thing now. It feels like, well, I really wanted that, but I think whether you realized it or not, it would have, um, you would have sold yourself short. So, um, and this, 
something else that's coming is really about um, your being loved and supported fully in a way that you wouldn't have been um, with the other thing. Let me get the whole thing. Yeah, this one's coming up for everyone all of a sudden. Um, be practical. The other thing about this card, um, it's for, it's stable. It's like stable finances in a way. Stable uh, physical world stuff. The other thing about that card I that I get a lot of times is keep your business to yourself. Keep your business to yourself until it comes into like reality or fruition. You know, don't be going telling everyone. It's not so much that people don't wish you well. It, it's almost like you, I don't know how to put it. It's almost like you're limited. I don't know how to put it. Sometimes I, you know, I say, oh, hire yourself. I want $10,000. Well, maybe there's 100000 for me. <laughs> no. Yeah, a new hope, a new inspiration, a new reflection, a new um, intuitive understanding, a new gift, a new story. And without following somebody else's lead, you know what? It, maybe somebody wanted you like to, I don't know, for you to do the work for them to take the credit in a way. And no, I have two fives. So this is an energy of change. Yeah. And two threes. There's this energy of joy and abundance here that's coming. I want to see, I want more cards. Mm -hmm. this one's come up for almost everyone let your light be your guide let your inner light be your guide and close out one story so anyone can begin because sometimes you know even though you know something isn't working it's like we still hang on. It's like, well, you know, maybe I'll go back in. Maybe it'll work this time. Maybe it'll work this time. It's almost like having a broken toaster. I'd keep on plugging it in, expecting it to work. It's like it's not going to work. Either fix it or get a new toaster. Or it's, uh, it's time to throw that one away or fix it. Right? I'm going to save it just in case. Just in case what? Yeah. Even though this is a place that you've never gone before, be confident that you have the skills to make it happen. But that's what I have to say. Okay, let me show you all the cards. Let me see if they fit. They do. Thank God. Now they fit better. Okay. My inner voice is giving me messages about creativity. I need to pick and follow a dream and not pay attention to the disappointment. My dreams are coming into fruition in the physical world. And how the in, in whatever way I've been leaving myself out in the cold and not uh, receiving my whole self, I, I need to, to find my own way and not follow somebody else's uh, way. Um, that's, that story is over. A new one has begun with me driving, right? And going to a place I haven't gone before, enjoy practicality with tremendous support and abundance. That's a really nice reading. All right, Sagittarius. So if you'd like a uh, private reading or to, uh, if you need some help clearing energy and bringing in new energy, I can help you with that. All the information is below. Have a lovely November and have... Uh, uh, happy birthday to early Sagittarians. And um, that's that. Blessings. Bye.